Hey, what is going on guys? Computer Surgeon here today bringing you a brand new video. It has been a while, but I have been busy with school and other stuff like that. So um, I'm going to be reviewing uh, Clean My Mac 3 today, which I did mention in one of my videos about maintaining and cleaning up your Mac. This is one of the best programs that I have ever used. I've gotten a chance to use it for uh, about a few weeks now. The folks at Clean My Mac were kind enough to give me an activation code so I could check out the full program, and that is exactly what I did. So before I jump in, this is one of the great features about Clean My Mac. Um, so I actually did download this a while ago, and it gives you this cool icon in your tab bar, and if you click on it, it tells you pretty much the state of your Mac right now. So I have 274 gigs available on my hard drive still. Um, you know, my memory is being used at about 5 gigs right now. My battery fully charged and there's not much in my trash and it tells me like you know the details like so on my uh, hard drive is 256 gigs I have an 8 gigabyte RAM and then you know milliamp hour battery and the 2 gigabyte threshold on the trash you can also launch clean my Mac 3 so I'm going to launch that and kind of go over this as to why I think you guys should get it it has a great user interface and you know right away we can do a quick what they call a smart cleanup and we're just gonna go ahead and do a quick scan on that last time um, it's just gonna go through all of these different uh, six categories so you got system junk photo junk mail attachments iTunes junk trash trash bins and large and old files. Now large and old files is probably my favorite on here just because last time when I did uh, one of these smart cleanup scans it found a 60 gigabyte file and I was running pretty low on hard drive space and that cleaned it up a lot. This is just going to do some smart scans and stuff and it's not, don't worry, it's not going to delete any of your stuff that it thinks it shouldn't. Like it found 2.3 gigabytes of system junk but it's listed over here as 8.09 so six, 6 of those gigabytes it's not going to automatically delete and you can always go ahead and go through and see what it's deleting and I'll show you guys that in a minute once this is done scanning but I would just recommend doing this right off the bat see how much uh, space you can clear up on your hard drive you know that might be one of the reasons that your uh, Mac might be running slow you might need a little bit more uh, you might need a bigger hard drive or an external or you could back it up and I would always recommend backing up your Mac just because you never know what's gonna happen I had probably about a years of schoolwork on there and a bunch of different development programs on there that I was working on and my laptop decided to crash and I lost all of that data so I would really recommend you backing up your uh, system but once uh, this is gonna finish up here in a few seconds so I'm just gonna keep talking but this is one of the programs that I would really recommend and I actually did like I said I mentioned this in my last video um, I'll link that in the description if you guys wanna check that out it's all about maintaining and cleaning your Mac uh, so it runs like it's brand new and this is one of the programs that is gonna help you do that um, and it's going to you know just kinda be a constant checkup for you and you can always just run this and you know I think this program uh, for uh, the paid is only 30 bucks which is actually pretty cheap for all it does um, I would recommend you guys go out and buy it if you haven't already and you can always do the free trial but of course the trial is not going to give you all the perks of the paid program so this is done it found 2.44 gigs of uh, safe cleanup that we could do and it kinda lists uh, all the stuff over here and like I said 14.61 uh, gigabytes on large and old files and I can actually review these files and see where they're coming from um, so if we go down uh, RuneScape has taken up 12.73 gigabytes of my uh, data here so I don't want to delete that but if we go to system junk um, it's only listed 2.3 gigabytes for the smart selected now I can always go to review details and select stuff that or um, I can uncheck and check some stuff that I don't want it to delete so uh, user cache files that is selected and if we go over to you know like Xcode junk that stuff won't be deleted and all this other stuff so um, if you guys hit scan um, of course it's not going to delete it without you letting it clean so I'm just going to do clean and it's going to cycle through all that stuff and I actually selected the wrong one and it's just going to go through all this different stuff and it's going to delete everything that it thinks it should delete now like I said if you guys are kinda iffy about what you guys are deleting I would really recommend going through and checking that out but I have yet to have anything deleted that I didn't want deleted and it actually has some really cool tools besides just the smart cleanup and all this other stuff which I'm gonna get to once this is done um, deleting here and this is just uh, finishing up the trash bin deleting um, and it actually does go pretty fast all you have to do is run this every so often and you know I have 172 gigs and last time before I ran this check a few weeks ago I had 100 gigs left so it freed up 72 gigs that I didn't even know I could have um, so 
Besides these uh, cleanups, you can do these as separate if you'd like, but it also has an uninstaller. Um, a lot of people don't really know um, how to properly uninstall uh, things on their Mac. So you can use this program to do so. So let's say I don't really have anything I don't want deleted uh, at the moment, but let's see if I do Python launcher. I guess I could delete that. So I just hit uninstall, and it's going to properly uninstall it in a fraction of a second, and you're good. It's not on your system anymore, similar to how C or CC Cleaner does that on your uh, PC. And like I said, guys, there is a clean my PC version, which I will be reviewing in a few weeks once I get my um, once I get my desktop set up. So if we go under the maintenance tab, you know, this isn't really something that the average Joe is going to know how to use. This flushes your DNS cache and it rebuilds launch services and things like that. So this isn't really something that's going to clean up your um, your space on your hard drive at all. But this is just something if you're a little bit more of an experienced user, you can go ahead and take advantage of these uh, different things like uh, running uh, maintenance scripts and repairing disk permissions and stuff like that. So uh, for the average Joe, this isn't really going to matter much. Uh, so we can go to the privacy tab and this is going to show us all the cookies and stuff for the different browsers that we use um, obviously you know Skype isn't going to have any cookies it's just going to save uh, history and stuff like that messages um, Chrome and you know other things like that so if you want to delete your cookies um, in Chrome you can do so by just hitting um, cookies and then clicking remove so uh, basic you know privacy uh, tab right there so extensions this is going to be all the extensions for different uh, services like Chrome extensions. It's going to list all the stuff in here. You know, I have AdBlock and Google Slides, and all their products are um, set in there by default. Um, you can go through all these. I'm not exactly sure what a lot of these do because I haven't really played around with this section. I'm not really too worried about the extensions. And then, last but not least, we have the Shredder tab. And if you kind of read through this, it erases sensitive data securely and it gets around various finder errors, which, you know, a lot of people don't really know what any of this stuff means. So if you want to do shredding files, um, that's something I really recommend if maybe you're getting ready to sell your Mac or anything like that, or you're giving to a friend and don't want to don't want them to see whatever you have on there. Um, but this is mainly um, I would use this mainly if I was selling my Mac to somebody on eBay or whatever, I would probably use this just to delete all the files or I would just install a new OS on there and uh, give it a clean slate. So uh, that's about it for Clean My Mac. I am actually going to be giving this program away. Um, I actually have a free access code that I was given from the people at Clean My Mac to give to one of you guys. So if you want this program for free, just go ahead and comment anything in the section below and give this video a like and make sure you are subscribed. I will be checking all those things and I will be giving, um, I'll be sending you um, a message on YouTube um, in about, uh, let's say, I will do that next uh, Wednesday. So if you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, comment in the section below. I will go ahead and pick a winner. Um, so you guys will have this program for free and you can try it out. Anybody else, I would really recommend you going checking out this program. Like I said, there's a free trial and I will put the link to this program in the section below. And for you PC users out there, I will be doing a Clean My PC version uh, from the same company. It's also a great UI and it has a lot of awesome features on there that you can't find on the Mac just because, you know, Mac's Unix Mac is Unix based and obviously PC is Windows based. So. Make sure if you guys want this program, you leave a comment in the section below, subscribe and like the video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out and thanks for watching.